Did you know one in every six Indians is pre-diabetic? According to a 2018 study published in the Indian Journal of Medical Research, the estimated prevalence of pre-diabetes in India is 14%, and that is just those who have been tested. If you have been diagnosed with pre-diabetes, you are not only predisposed to getting type 2 diabetes, but also have an increased risk of developing coronary artery disease, heart failure and stroke. Unfortunately, the scary part is that pre-diabetes is notoriously known to fly under the radar. This means pre-diabetes to a large extent is an asymptomatic condition and often goes undetected until serious health problems start cropping up. But what is pre-diabetes exactly? Don't let the pre fool you. Pre-diabetes is a serious health condition which is defined as having elevated blood sugar levels but not high enough to meet the threshold for diabetes. If left untreated, pre-diabetes can progress to diabetes, a condition in which your body is unable to absorb glucose causing blood sugar to rise. If left any further, diabetes can lead to a number of health problems from heart attack and stroke to blindness, kidney problems and infection, among others. Pre-diabetes may also describe using some other terms like impaired glucose tolerance or impaired fasting glucose. So the question arises here, if pre-diabetes has no clear symptoms, how can it be diagnosed? Yes, pre-diabetes usually does not cause any symptoms and millions of people have it but are unaware. That's why it is important to talk to your doctor about getting your blood sugar tested if you have these risk factors. If you are overweight or obese with large waistline and excessive abdominal or belly fat. If you are 45 years or older. If you do not exercise or have a sedentary lifestyle, if you do not get enough sleep, if you have other comorbidities like abnormal cholesterol levels, high triglycerides, or polycystic ovarian syndrome, that is PCOS, if you had gestational diabetes, that is diabetes during pregnancy in the past, if you have a family history of type 2 diabetes, criteria to confirm a diagnosis of prediabetes. So, there are three ways to confirm a diagnosis of pre-diabetes. Number one, fasting plasma glucose, that is FPG, between 100 to 115 milligram per deciliter. Number two, two-hour postprandial plasma glucose between 140 to 160 milligram per deciliter. Number three, HbA1c value between 5.8 to 6.4%. So, a quick test of your blood glucose can help you detect if your blood glucose or blood sugar levels are higher than normal. That is called hyperglycemia. So, if the results show borderline glycemia or match any of the above said criteria, a diagnosis of prediabetes can be confirmed. Since pre-diabetes is a precursor to type 2 diabetes, getting diagnosed early, you can treat it in time and prevent developing serious other health problems in future. So if left untreated, pre-diabetes can lead to type 2 diabetes in just five years. So when it comes to pre-diabetes, action is the best medicine. Early diagnosis and management through lifestyle interventions like increasing your daily physical activity and eating healthy can return blood glucose level to a normal range, effectively preventing or delaying type 2 diabetes. So here are six simple and proven ways to go from pre-diabetes to normal. Number one, make physical activity a regular habit. Regular exercise will help you burn calories, lose weight, and increase insulin sensitivity. Aim at getting at least 30 minutes of brisk walking for five days or two and a half hours of moderate exercise 
और वन आवर फिफ्टीन मिनट्स ऑफ हाई इंटेंसिटी वर्कआउट इन अ वीक एरोबिक एक्सरसाइजेस एंड स्ट्रेंथ ट्रेनिंग हैव ऑल्सो प्रूव्ड बेनिफिशियल इन रिवर्सिंग प्री डायबिटीज अ कोच और अ वर्कआउट बडी कैन हेल्प यू स्टिक टू द रूटीन एम फॉर मॉडेस्ट वेट लॉस लूजिंग इवन अ स्मॉल परसेंटेज और अबाउट फाइव टू सेवन परसेंट ऑफ योर बॉडी वेट विल मेक यू फील द डिफरेंस स्टार्ट बाई ईटिंग हेल्थियर फूड विद लेस कैलोरिफिक वैल्यूज रिप्लेस प्रोसेस्ड कार्बोहाइड्रेट्स विद होल ग्रेन्स फूड्स एंड इनक्रीज द पोर्शन ऑफ वेजिटेबल्स एंड हाई फाइबर फूड्स ईट हेल्थी फिफ्टी परसेंट ऑफ योर मील शुड बी नॉन स्टार्ची वेजिटेबल्स like brussels sprouts carrots asparagus and more 25% of foods should be rich in resistant starch like corn potatoes peas etc the remaining 25% needs to be protein such as paneer fish chicken and beans are good choose foods with a low glycemic index that is gi and glycemic load that is gl try to reach a total cholesterol level below 200 mg per deciliter keep a strict portion control it would help if you aim for bmi that is body mass index of less than 25 lose weight gradually and you will be able to achieve a healthy body mass index kick the butt yes give up smoking if you are a smoker now you have a reason to become a non smoker smokers are almost 40% more likely to get type 2 diabetes than non smokers stop smoking and you will be able to see visible positive changes in your cardiovascular health you will also reduce your risk of cancer copd and much more get in a shut eye an adequate amount of sleep ensure your blood sugar levels are healthy If you keep waking up early, cannot stay asleep or manage only under 5 hours of sleep a night, you have high chances of getting diabetes. At least 7 to 8 hours of sleep a night is desirable. It is not advisable to consume coffee, tea or alcoholic beverages as they are known to affect your sleep schedule considerably. So if you find it hard to give them up completely or are in the process of cutting down, make sure you don't consume it during the latter half of the day. Maintain a set sleep timing and follow a quiet, calm bedtime routine. Medications Some drugs work on blood sugar levels, excess weight problems, elevated blood pressure and high cholesterol. People with pre-diabetes tend to have these conditions. Take your medicines as prescribed. They can make your health much better and ensure that you have a longer good life quality. Try support groups. It makes such a big difference when you get the support of friends and family. people with whom you can share your fears good and bad experiences on your road to recovery from prediabetes and yes before you ask you can reverse your prediabetes so keep working at it support groups of peers help you see the situation of others see how they cope and also share experiences and encouragement so ask your doctor for help finding a group that you can feel comfortable with It is possible to fight with pre-diabetes with a concerted action plan. You need to determine to exercise, lose weight and stop smoking primarily. Follow this list of activities in a disciplined manner to keep yourself away from a lifetime of living with diabetes. Bottom line. Think of pre-diabetes as a fork in the road, ignore it and your risk of type 2 diabetes goes up. lose a modest amount of weight and get regular physical activity and your risk goes down remember if left untreated prediabetes can rapidly progress to type 2 diabetes which is harder to live with as it affects your vital organs resulting in major complications like kidney failure blindness nerve damage and even amputation of a toe foot or leg pre diabetes is real 
common but most importantly it is reversible if you feel overwhelmed and do not know how or where to begin seek support from a trained diabetes expert or a coach a professionally certified coach can help you discover how to eat healthy add more physical activity into your day manage stress stay motivated identify and solve issue that can hinder or delay the progress of pre-diabetes to diabetes so start today and change pre-diabetes into preventing diabetes thank you and take care